Welcome back, guys. Reggie vs. Solace here. Um, happy week to you guys. Um, wanted to make a quick video doing a discussion about the Band of Icy Depths. It's a quest um, It's a quest item that you get from completing stages in the Scarab Lord quest line, which is Bang Gong and things like that. Um, I just received it as I'm uh, currently progressing to complete the Scarab Lord grind on my server, one of the last servers to open, which um, gives me the ability to create content for you guys and also talk about those obscure items that you want to keep in your inventory forever. And here's why. Band of Icy Depths, Full Guide, Reggie vs. Solace. If you guys haven't subscribed or to the YouTube channel, please do that. And also to the Twitch channel, twitch.tv, Reggie vs. Solace. You can see it right here below. All right, let's get into it. Okay. All right, so I'm in a body of water here and I want to talk about this item that I'm going to put on screen. Um, it's called the Band of Icy Depths. Uh, where is it? Right here. All right. So you got this thing called the Band of Icy Depths. So what's this item? It's a ring that you get from completing the um, Blue Scepter Shard. I just completed that. And I think this ring is a valuable ring that you're never going to you're never going to want to uh, vendor. First, I want to talk about vendor ring. And then I want to talk about the three phases of this ring, how it's pretty incredible. All right, especially in Classic Wild, but you're gonna be keeping this item well beyond Classic Wild. All right, so the first thing about it is you see that it's unique. So you only can have one. Of course, you have to you have to complete the quest to be able to get it. Um, it starts with uh, turning in those, those scarabs, but once the gates open on your server, you can still complete the quest without, you just have to get the rep from AQ40, right? Um, so you don't have to do the bugs, so you don't have to do the 42,000 turn-ins, anything like that. You get the natural rep from completing AQ40. So you loot the head, um, you, you get the first thing quite only one, only one will rise, um, and you still um, go on to the quest just to be able to have this ring. That's how important this ring is. It makes things a hell of a lot easier, and here's why. So um, you grab your head from uh, Brew Lord, start that quest. Um, you do it after AQ40 because you get the you get to be neutral rep um, anyway by completing multiple AQ40s, and then you turn in the blue scepter shard, um, and and I have a whole guide on the blue scepter shard and things like that on on my channel, so check that out. But you do this one here um, after you turn in Dracona for dummies and things like that. Um, you get this item, which is Band of Icy Depths. You're like, what is this? First thing I notice about the item is 19 stamina. So to me, um, in Classic WoW, stamina is mostly a PvP uh, thing or survivability type of uh, stat, and you're going to be needing that. There's no resilience in Classic WoW, so you need PV, um, you need stamina to be able to survive, especially as a melee DPS class. And the thing that stands out about that 19 stamina is, to my knowledge, it's the second highest stamina ring in the game so far that I've seen. The first one... Um, is one of these. Let me uh, look for that. It's uh, the Ring of uh, Reconos you get from Blackwing Lair. Uh, let me look up my rings. Uh, yeah, this one here. The um, Archmenos Ring of Reckoning you get from Nefarian. A lot of people think it's, thinks it's memes because there's no green text. There's there's um, there's like half of, of a percent of crit uh, for, for melee classes. There's no hit. But what they're failing to look at is the high stamina on that ring. Um, to me, to my knowledge, there isn't a ring that's higher stamina. I could be wrong, but it's definitely one of the highest, if not the highest. And then you get this ring here, which is the uh, Band of Icy Depths. It gives you 19. The Memoron Signet, which is a, um, a BOE epic, gives you 17. So this here gives you 19, which is more stamina than those rings. Um, so to me, this is the second highest stamina ring, to my knowledge, from what I've seen. Um, but even if it's not, you, do, you definitely want to get this for PvP. It definitely stands out. It makes you more tankier. It makes you be able to absorb, absorb more damage. Um, so the 19 stamina is a standout feature on the Band of Icy Depths by itself. Then you go into the second step. 20 Frost Resistance. So already off of this ring, I'm getting prepped up for Saffron. Who Saffron is the second to last boss in the game. It's the person who guards KT's lair in, in Naxxramas. So smart players, and a lot of wild classic players are smart, myself included. 
I'm going to start prepping up for, you got your AQ stuff going on right now, so you're prepping up for your nature gear. But also, you start to get your frost resist set together. Yeah, you're starting to get your frost resist set together. Little pieces, because you know, even though it's only one fight, that fight drops trinkets, that fight drops enchants, that, that fight drops weapons and gear. I think it's the only fight in the game that drops all four. Um, it's a it's a pretty epic fight. You need total frost resistance for it, for all classes, because it's major frost damage being dealt out on that fight. And this right here gives you a ring that's 20 frost resist, plus 19 stamina. So just for that fight, you are ready to go uh, and prepared with this uh, ring, which is the Band of Icy Depths. So it gives you the, the the survivability for that fight for the for the Saffron fight, and you get twenty frost resist, which you're going to need off of one ring. It's amazing. So just those two alone, you want to keep this bad boy in your inventory, ready to go for some PvP if you're fighting like a frost mage um, or uh, the Saffron fight. But then you got the third thing, which is amazing. That's what makes this ring stand out. By the way, is the uh, the green text. It says equip. Once you equip this uh, ring, it allows underwater breathing forever. <laughs> wow. All right. I, real quick, because you're, you're looking at the, the guide right here, and it's saying that the sell price is 82 gold. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of gold, right? You're thinking, oh, shoot, I'm going to cash in, sell this stupid ass ring, and I'm going to get 82 gold profit off of this quest. You never want to sell this ring. Ever. You want to keep this in your inventory. You keep this forever because of that text right there where it says equip. It allows underwater breathing. So you don't have to worry about ever dying in water if you have this ring in your inventory. And you just be able to swap it on. So let me show you. So even though I'm undead and we get extra water breathing because we're undead. Even though I'm underwater here, let's try this bad boy on. And the breath is going to go, go slower. For all other classes other than undead, this is going to go faster, right? So you got a limited time to breathe underwater. Okay. We go ahead and put on, as you see, this thing is ticking. Like I said, I am undead, so it's taking slower. But this bad boy here, you, you equip this and look at that. It goes up. And it never it never goes down. So all you got to do is break out of combat, even if you're close. You just equip this bad boy, and you're good to go. Again, you unequip it, the breath starts again. All right, we're fighting. Da 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 da. -da. <clears throat> Let's say we're in the middle of a fight. This thing is going down. We're like, oh no, you know, we're we're close to death. I equip this bad boy. And it, it, if, if you have uh, item rack, which I recommend, item rack is the add-on you need to be able to switch your, your items on a go. Or you could put it as a macro, you could put it as a keybind. Anyway, so it basically cues the ring up. All right, so even if we're in a fight and we're about to die, we wanna end this fight real quick. It, it See, a boom, it, it automatically equipped my um, band of icy depths and bam. And look, and for this one, it even goes away. <laughs> the bar even goes away. So that means I can be underwater forever with this ring on. So it's three phases to why this band of icy depths is a ring you never want to delete. You never want to sell. You want to keep it in your inventory forever. The um, Bashir, I think it's called, uh, Quest Zone in... I think it was Wrath of Lich King or Mr. Pandaria. I think we either one of those. The whole thing is underwater, right? This ring will be great for that. It's great for questing when you have underwater quests. Um, the ones off of a Stranglethorn Veil, vale, um, you could be able to do those and, and not not care about anything. If, if you're farming the uh, Tidal Charm, right? Ultimate PvP trinket or one of the best, and you got to go fight fight the uh, the, gen the general there. You could be able to have this equipped. You're just waiting for him to spawn forever. It's not too many items in the game that gives you that flexibility off of, a, of, of hard to access areas like water. And this one does. 
So this ring, you wanna, you're gonna wanna keep this forever, like through all expansions. For the, the pro vanilla players that did this quest line that still have this ring in retail, they're ahead of the pack, they're ahead of the game. And you wanna do that also as we get into classic uh, Burning Crusade and maybe classic World of, um, Wrath of the Lich King, where there, are some, there is some underwater zones off of Northrend, all right? This one right here, Band of Icy Depths, very good um, ring. Um, it all three, all three phases, and I talked about it. We talked about stamina. We talked about the frost resistance in preparation for Saffron fight in Nax Ramus, which everyone should be focusing in on. Um, and then, and then you got the underwater breathing, and we, we was able to show an example of the underwater breathing, breathing um, without the fight and with the fight. As you can see here, I'm still underwater, just cascading away because I have this thing equipped. And when you unequip it, the, the bar um, comes back again. So that shows you right there that it gives you that flexibility of not even just having it equipped, but having it in tow, ready to be equipped um, in your bags. You, you guys know, once you go to different expansions, the bag slots get bigger, so you can have more space for obscure items. And this is the one you don't, you don't want a vendor, you want to keep it forever. So once again, you got to be able to see that I equip it and then boom, that bar, um, yeah, basically I turn and it goes away. So that there you have it going by, guys. Real quick, um, Band of IC Depths Guide. Um, it's like I said, it's not everyone's going to be able to have this. Just to me, to be honest, it's a hard quest line, no doubt. I, you know, my, my hair's falling out because of this damn thing. But if you're forecasting going forward, this is one of the items that you do this quest for. Just for this. Like, to be honest, I'm happy to have it. There's other um, quest items that you get, like this uh, Gnomish Turban of Psychic Might, mostly for casters. Um, I think that the equip on this one is really good also. Uh, it uh, increases your chance to resist silence with effects up to 10%. Remember, percents are huge in Classic WoW. It's huge if you want to talk like Trump. Increases your resistance to silence by 10%. That is amazing. And I can't really, well, I, warriors do use taunt, so that's something that you know we could. That that's a, kind of a, it's a spell actually for us is the taunt um, skill. But mostly for casters, this is awesome, and you get this just by getting it. You complete a section of the uh, the quest line for Scarab Lord, and you get this no this gnomish turban of psychic might. Very good for all your casters, paladins, chamis, things like that. But um. It, it could be something also to have in tow if you you want to get a battle shot out because battle shots are spells um your yeah, battle shots a spell your taunts a spell so warriors do have spells or or abilities that are classified as spells i should say and this will help out with that um you, you equip this thing on and it, re it increases your resistance to silence so if you have a mob like the streakers in eastern plague lands that um, give you like a debuff where it, 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 it prolongs your your taunting ability You could be able to use this right here to be able to resist that So those are just uh, you know items that is mostly for the band of icy depths But I also do have the gnomish turban of psychic might there is there is a um, you see this one doesn't vendor for much But you still want to keep that one because it's a hard to get item you keep these as vanities that most the most players aren't going to be able to get um, and you just keep them and they're good to go or if you something that you want to shoot for you can do that also But there it is guys. Let me know what you guys think band of icy depths guide once again um, It's a ring that even though it vendors for 82 gold, which is a, a good chunk in classic wow You don't want a vendor ever because of the 19 stamina the 20 frost resistance for saffron in the and the also the under underrated equip that allows underwater breathing forever <laughs> so you definitely want to be used that in situations like this one where I'm underwater. If you got a long quest line underwater, you pop this one on, you're good to go. It changes the game. You're not using any potions, you're using the ring, and you can unequip it when you, whenever you need to. It's perfect. So that's the IC Depths guide, guys, um, for the ring. A band of IC Depths is a ring you don't want to delete and you want to appreciate. Or if you're starting the quest, because people could still do, you know, all through classic, you could still do the quest. There's the ring, um, something that people be shooting for along with the final weapons that I'm, I'm going to have guides for 
banging the gong. I'm going to have a guide for that um, or a video showing that um, as I pro progress on with the quest line. And it's going to be awesome because it's four awesome um, it's four awesome weapons that people are going to be looking for. But there's also epic rares that you get from completing stages in the quest line like this one. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully it wasn't too long of a video, but it's a definitely ring that you don't want to delete ever and you want to appreciate it. Band of Icy Depths God, Reggie vs. Solace, Twitch.tv, Reggie vs. Solace, Reggie vs. Solace on all social medias. Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. They have, there's a page there. I'm on there. Give it up. Give, um, give, a, give a, a follow on the Twitch and a subscription on the YouTube as we're growing the channel. Remember, all videos are always free. The best thing you can do is give a like, spread the word. Um, that you got black streamers <laughs> giving you content for the free. All right, guys. Uh, Reggie versus Solace signing out. Let me know what you guys think. Stay tuned to the streams and be easy.